How we doing, my APL scholars? Um, I just want to go over a quick thing on note taking, a quick conversation here on note taking, what we do, how we do it, what my expectations are. Um, so I guess we can start with what you did last night, um, the Greece and Rome reading guide. Uh, we talked about that a little bit. So when you get a reading guide, which is rare, by the way, we probably do a half dozen of those throughout the whole year, um, maybe 10, no, not even 10, probably half dozen is probably better. Um, all you have to do is answer those questions, and those are your notes for the section. You don't need to do anything else. Um, so those are your, those are reading guides, pretty simple. The vast majority of notes that we're going to take are what I call textbook notes, which is where you need to take actual notes. You're reading a textbook passage, and you're taking notes on it. That's why I call them textbook notes, you see. Um, why are you there? There we go. Um, and so that'll be the reading that you're getting tonight, if you see here. Um, and seventh period, we looked at this a little bit. Um, so this is a textbook. It's just not our textbook. We use a lot of different textbooks because I like different things different authors do. You probably need to print this out, obviously, because it's sideways. You're going to hurt yourself. And my expectation is that you take um, notes on this. And my recommendation is that you take outline notes on this. Use headings and subheadings in here. Uh, Europe enters the Middle Ages, the Byzantine Empire, the rise of Islam, uh, new importance of the Christian church. Use those subheadings as your Roman numerals, as your letters. Um, that is the vast majority of notes that we will take. Um, you need to have a system for this. You need to be able to do this effectively. Um, if you can't, it's going to be real difficult for you. And this is something we can work on. We can talk about techniques. We can talk about um, systems to make this more efficient. Um, but uh, you need to be able to do this efficiently um, or else this class becomes unsustainable for you. You know, I can't, this is, this is a sizable reading. Um, there's no doubt about it. But if this is taking you three, four hours, that's not sustainable. Somebody, you, you're going to crack. Um, and I don't want that to happen. That's not the point of this. And so um, that is our textbook notes. Now, whenever you see just pages given, and I think I went over this in both classes, that means it's from our McKay book, and the assumption is that you're doing textbook notes. So whenever it has just page numbers on there, your homework, those are the pages you're going to do textbook notes on. Um, now, very, very rarely... Um, I'll say skim, and skim means you just have to read and don't take notes. So you're skimming this section here, then reading and taking notes on those 10 pages, then skimming the next six pages, then reading and taking notes the next couple. Uh, that's rare. Rarely do I have you read something and not take notes. If I think it's important enough to read, uh, you'll take notes on it. This is just something that adds a little bit more to our discussion. Um, and then the different color pages in the book, reading like a historian, evalu evaluating written evidence. Um, if I have those in there, I expect you to do them. Uh, otherwise, you can skip them. Those are the different pages in there. Um, some other type of reading assignments that we get um, that you'll take notes on, a different type of notes are what I call read and mark up. Uh, this is what you did for the summer reading. Um, this is where you, I hate the word annotate because it's so lit classy, but you read and you take notes, you underline the important things, you highlight the important things, names you think are important, maybe a circle, highlight, however that is. Um, the one big difference is for me, read and mark up, you must have a sentence summary at the end. Um, that is, that's mandatory. That's where you take a second, you step back, you think about what you just read, um, and you put it into a sentence. Um, the reason that's important, because all of us have done this, all of us have read something and been reading it and underlining it, and that if I asked you to explain to me what you just read, you'd have no idea, um, because you, you weren't actually processing it. The sentence summary forces you to process it, um, and then it's also a very good activity that we can work with our partner and, um, and discuss and share our sentence summaries and see if we both got out of it what we like, um, or, or similar ideas. Uh, the other type of notes that we'll take on reading, sometimes I have you answer questions right in the text. Um, so I'll give you a piece of text and I'll, I'll put questions right in there. Sometimes I literally handwrite the questions in there. You'll love those. Um, and it's right there. Uh, sometimes they're footnoted in the text, like there'll be a little one and then the question down at the one and you answer it down there. Um, so there's different ways of doing that. 
Um, and that's just a, just a different way of getting you to look at a, a text and and uh, and analyze it. Sometimes they're really short answers, or sometimes it's do you agree or disagree with this. Uh, sometimes the questions in there might be put this paragraph or put this sentence in your own words. Um, so they're usually pretty quick hitters when it's answering the questions in the text um, because I'm just asking you to answer them right in there. They're usually not very long for that. Um, so. Uh, that's the basic conversation that we were going to have about notes and note taking today. Um, obviously, if there's any questions on any of this, we can uh, discuss that next time we get together in class. So thank you for your attention. This was under six minutes, which was my goal. And uh, we'll see you next time.